Hi, my name is Dr. Marie-Claude Desrosiers. In this video, I'd like to share with you some basic techniques and tips that will help you when the time comes to treat your dog's ear infection. Christine and Orlando have kindly volunteered to assist me in this demonstration. As you can see, we have placed Orlando on an elevated surface, which makes things easier, especially if you have a small to medium-sized dog. For larger dogs, you can keep them on the floor, but make sure their back is in a corner so they don't back up. Another thing that can help is to have someone else present to assist you. If your dog is particularly uncooperative, you might also want to consider using a muzzle. Before getting started, make sure you've read the product's direction and understand how many drops you need to administer in each ear. The medication we'll be administering to Orlando today combines an antibiotic, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory agent. Your veterinarian may have asked you to clean your dog's ear before applying medication. That's always a good idea, especially since some antibiotics lose their effectiveness in the presence of organic material like earwax or pus. Ideally, you should respect an hour between the ear cleansing and the treatment. If you don't, it might dilute the medication, making the treatment less effective. Ready? Let's begin. Have your assistant place her hand on your dog's nose to keep his head straight, not tilted back, which is a mistake many people make. Because, as you can see here, dogs have a long, narrow air canal that makes an almost 90 degree turn as it travels inward. If the head is tilted back, then the medication is going to have a hard time getting further in the canal and you might lose some medication that will drip on the side of the ear. Keeping your dog's head straight allows the medication to flow down the ear canal so it can reach the bacteria, yeast, and inflamed tissue. Okay, let's get back to Orlando, who has been patiently waiting. What a good boy! Okay. Having your assistant ready to hold the dog, gently pull your dog's ear flap up. Place the nozzle in the opening of the ear canal being very careful not to let it touch any part of the ear. Apply the prescribed number of drops. Massage the base of the ear where the cartilage is. This helps distribute the medication throughout the ear canal. You should hear a squishing sound as the medication works its way down. Many dogs actually like this part. Continue massaging for a few seconds, then release the ear. Be prepared for your dog to shake his head. When he does, medication droplets may be expelled, which is normal. If any medication comes in contact with your skin, be sure to wash it. Repeat for the other ear. When you're done, wash your hands again. It's also important to clean the nozzle between administrations if the cannula came in contact with the ear and secretions. On this product, the nozzle can be removed for cleaning. Don't forget to praise your dog and give him a treat. Since you'll be repeating the treatment once or twice a day for however long your veterinarian has prescribed, you want to make sure it's a positive experience. If you have any questions or difficulties administering the medication, don't hesitate to consult your veterinarian. And be sure to bring your dog in for a follow-up exam to make sure the infection is gone. Good luck!